Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how to calculate the isoelectric point of an amino acid. Okay, and these are some of the examples that we are going to see. That is, we will see in all acidic, basic and neutral amino acids, how do you calculate isoelectric point? Okay, so first let us understand the definition again. This we had seen in the last video as well. What is isoelectric point? It is denoted by PI. So sometimes if they tell you calculate PI, so you should not, go, not get confused. What is this PI? PI is nothing but isoelectric point. It is a pH at which the sample of amino acid or protein have equal number of positive and negative charges. So overall at isoelectric point, overall amino acid as a zero charge okay that is the positive and negative charges are equal that is the definition of the isoelectric point so now let us first start with the most simplest uh, amino acid that is neutral amino acids what is the meaning of a neutral amino acid it has one amine group okay and one carboxylic acid group okay overall in the structure and how do you calculate the isoelectric point for a neutral amino acid you take the pKa of amine group plus pKa of carboxylic acid group COOH you have to take the average of them what is the meaning of average add both the pKa and divide by 2 ok so let us understand with the help of this example which is the amino acid given alanine alanine it has one carboxylic acid group and one amine group so the first step is to identify whether it is acidic basic or neutral so this is what this is a neutral amino acid so we can use this formula okay isoelectric point we are calculating for alanine okay pka of an amine group okay write down the formula pk of amine group plus pk of carboxylic acid group divided by 2 so what is the pk of amine group amine group you can see it is here amine group is this one it is 9.69 okay 9.69 plus pk of carboxylic acid group it is this 2.34 2.34 so 9.69 plus 2.34 divided by 2 so this comes out to be 6.02 Okay, so this is a peaky, this is the isoelectric point for alanine. So it is very simple for neutral amino acids. There will be two pK values that will be given. You have to add both of them and divide by two. Okay, now let us see for acidic amino acid. Why what is the meaning of acidic amino acids? Acidic amino acid means the number of carboxylic acid groups are greater as compared to amine groups. Okay, for example, some Carboxylic acid have two COH groups and one NH2 group, amine group. So here, how do you find out the isoelectric point? You will take the average of the carboxylic acid groups. Okay, pK of COOH group 1 plus pK of another COOH group. Let's say 2. Okay, divide by 2. This is the formula. You have to take the average of pK values of both the carboxylic acid groups. Okay, let us understand this with the help of example glutamic acid okay glutamic acid it has two carboxylic acid groups so it is a acidic amino acid so how do you find out the isoelectric point isoelectric point will be pk of first one carboxylic acid group on the left 4.25 plus another it is 2.19 you have to be very very careful by mistake you should not take this value of amine that will be incorrect okay 4.25 and 2.19 divided by 2. Okay, this is for which amino acid we are calculating? Glutamic acid. Okay, you add and divide by 2, this comes out to be 3.22. Okay, so this was for, our, for acidic amino acid. Now, the third and the last case is basic amino acid. What does basic amino acid have? Amine groups are more as compared to the carboxylic acid groups. So here what will, what will be the formula? 
formula will be isoelectric point will be now you will take the pk of both the amine groups plus pka of another amine group divide by 2 okay so this is the example lysine lysine you can see two amine groups are present and only one carboxylic acid group so this is what this is a basic amino acid so isoelectric point for lysine will be add the pk of amine groups okay which is 10.79 2 point sorry 10.79 and this you will not take you will take 8.95 okay so this is the mistake that you have to avoid okay 10.79 plus another is 8.95 divided by 2 okay this comes out to be this is for which amino acid we are calculating lysine this will come out to be 9.87 okay so this is the last case and and one more example this is some acid that is given name is not given okay so first step is identify whether this is acidic basic or neutral okay acidic basic or neutral so check the groups okay which all groups are present you can see one carboxylic acid group is here another carboxylic acid groups is here and only one amine group two carboxylic acid groups so it is acidic it is not basic it is not neutral so acidic amino acid what is the formula you write down okay for acidic for acidic amino acid okay isoelectric point is pka of carboxylic acid group plus P one first carboxylic acid group and pk of another carboxylic acid group let's say two okay here also i can add one and two okay one and two okay so divide by two so what are the values one car first carboxylic acid this is 3.65 plus 1.88 divide by 2 3.65 plus 1.88 divided by 2 this comes out to be 2.77 okay so uh, this is the end of this video we will solve some more question this uh, question on isoelectric point is asked many times in previous year questions in the next video we will see one more example that was asked in jam uh, exam and I hope you have understood how to find out the isoelectric point for all acidic basic as well as neutral amino acids. Thank you.